ettei näyttänyt huomattavasti paremmalta kuin toi grafiikat siellä aluksessa. Spa, Captain Solano, welcome to Hotari. We are honored you have come. My name is Tylus Altaris, Minister of Diplomatic Affairs. The honor is ours, and this is Commander Jara Rydek, first officer aboard the USS Resolute. You'll find she has a keen mind and unique insight into the dynamics between the Hotari and the Lydians. We are honored to be here as representatives of the Federation. I'm so glad. These must be the representatives of the mighty Federation, the reigning authority in the galaxy, or so we've been led to believe. Whether that's true or not remains to be seen. But either way, we're grateful you've made the time to come to our little corner of the universe. And you are? This is Galvin, and this is Citron, the heroes of the revolt in the mines. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Let's hope this is the last time we ever have to come here. If you'll excuse me. I think we're about to begin. Did you hear the arrogance from that guy? I don't know what we're walking into here. But that guy was something. That may be true. But let's keep an open mind going into the negotiations. Hopefully he's just one voice amongst many. Then let's hope he's the outlier. The Hotari have invited us as their guests, so we must show them the proper respect. Yleensä ei toimi, niinpä. Niin, etenkin jos on esimiesasemassa, niin yy. Ambassador Spock, welcome to Hotari Prime. The honor is mine, Your Majesty. That the Federation would send one of their most respected representatives is not only an honor to the Hotari people and their queen, but a recognition of our stature and importance. Let's get on with it, shall we? With all due respect to the Federation and their ambassador, they have no authority here. We are not members of their alliance. We are not subject to their rule, nor yours. We demand the immediate return of all mining operations to Elidian control, as it has been for centuries and will be for centuries more. That has always been our understanding. That understanding has changed. Then you invite war. And if you cannot remain silent, you will be silenced. But his point is well taken. What is the Federation's interest in this matter? Perhaps we have to trade that. one oppressor for another? The Federation remains neutral. Our only interest is the peaceful resolution of this conflict. We are here at your request, Your Majesty. For now. I'm trying to keep an open mind here, but it's not easy. I thought they wanted us here. Was there something you wanted to say, Captain? Oh. No. My apologies. And what about the Kobliad? She's not part She of... can speak for herself, can't she? Only you're the Puma. Now then, one should know their place. What you might be somewhere else is not what you are here. 
which is standing before a queen. And a queen deserves respect. A bow is not too much to ask. This Hotari Prime, heart of the Hotari system. I am unfamiliar with your customs, your majesty. We may not be a powerful civilization in your eyes, but we are prideful people. You are Kobliad. Your people suffered brutal treatment at the hands of the Cardassians. Their injustice towards the Kobliad is as unimaginable as it is unforgivable. Uh -huh. Not unlike how we have been treated by the Alidians. As much as they'd have you believe they are the victims here, remember it was the Hotari who attacked us. Hundreds of innocent Alidians were slaughtered without mercy in those mines. The blood is on their hands, not ours. Quiet! If after all the Kobliad suffered, you finally had the chance to right that wrong, to get out from under their control. Would you take it? Or would you negotiate a peace? Ah, well, it's there. If the opportunity presented itself, and I wish that it had more than you can know, then I would right the wrong without hesitation. For the sake of the Kobliad, we suffered enough. Of course you would. It would be foolish to do otherwise. The Federation is the most powerful, most advanced alliance in the galaxy. It's widely known we have an abundance of dilithium in our mind. And it's in your interest to secure a steady supply. Your Majesty, if I may. Ambassador Spock would have us believe you're here as a neutral party in the interest <laughs> of <laughs> peace. So why are you really here? I want the truth, not your Federation rhetoric. As Ambassador Spock has said, we've come seeking a peaceful resolution to this conflict. And have no interest in your dilithium. I'm not nearly as naive as you must think. The Federation has done business with the Elidians for decades. Which makes me question your motives. What they haven't said, but cannot deny, is a simple truth. The dilithium trade would not and will no longer exist without a Lydian involvement. We created it for the benefit of everyone. Especially the Hotari. We've given them warp technology. We've let them share in the profits. Ah, We've no, made no, their no, lives no, no. infinitely better than before Dilithium was discovered. All of that goes away if the Federation turns a blind eye to their treachery. That is enough of your lies! Ah. The Hotari are quite capable yeah, we of not the so We've done so for centuries. So tell me, who deserves control of the dilithium trade and the mines on town? Who should the Federation recognize? The Hotari or the Alidians? It can only be one or the other, not both. If I have to choose only one, then it would have to be the Hotari. Well said. How could the just and wise Federation make any other this, this is an outrage. The Federation has lost all credibility. The mines are ours. Lydia will not be deterred. We will take back our mines by any means necessary. And you will see more blood spilled. I am more than willing to address your concerns, Your Majesty. Yours as well, Representative. But I suggest we could have a more productive conversation with a smaller group. Perhaps only the most essential representatives.
I suppose there is some sense to that. Hmm. Huh? I hope we Papai meet do again. Commander Jara Rydek, Your Majesty. It's been a pleasure. Tän pelas sen ton pussiin, mutta kun mä tiedän niin kuin mitä muutakaan tuossa voi sanoa. Sorry, kapteeni. Mä ollaan vähän niinku lirissä nyt niin sanotusti. Spock and I will cover everything on the diplomatic front. You make nice with the locals and see if you can get some answers. We need to find out why the Hotari are so willing to risk war. What happened in those mines? Yeah. Commander, I'm glad you've chosen to side with the Hotari. I knew the Federation would see through the Elidians' baseless claims and protect the interests of my people. Even though the Hotari should have control of the mines, some of the Elidian claims are still valid. There you're wrong, but we can agree to disagree. I assume you were there the day the mines were seized from the Elidians. Not seized. Reclaimed. And restored to their rightful owners. Yes, I was there. We had to be decisive. Before the Elidians could even realize their worst nightmares upon them. I'm curious why the Elidians haven't fought back. That was they have the ability to retake mulle. the mines any time they want. Ability is one thing. Courage is another. The Elidians know any hostile action on their part will not end well. They respect one thing above all else, and that is force. The greater the force, the more certain the outcome. Any talk of making peace is just that, and worth little without the strength to secure it. Which makes me wonder about your ship, the Resolute. <laughs> Undoubtedly the Federation's finest warrior. Uh, Ready to contend with anything the Elidians might have in store. Uh, yo. Or is that not true? Maybe I've misjudged it. It wasn't designed as a warship. More for scientific research and exploration. But the Federation must have ships designed for war. Technically, they're Starfleet ships representing the Federation. But yes. I see. Sidron. A pleasure meeting you, Commander. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Hmm, I'm probably not telling you anything you don't already know, but these negotiations rely on the Federation's neutrality, as does any hope you might have for a supply of dilithium in the future. So why you would choose to side with the Hotari escapes me. Without a Lydian involvement, there is no dilithium trade. But clearly, you weren't aware. Tau and the mines belong to the Hotari. They deserve to have control. You overestimate their ability to run the mining operation. They have no idea what they're doing. A major solid arm inter, special attaché, Elidian armed forces. Pleasure to meet you, Commander. I have my issues with the Hotari, but I have to give them some credit. They know how to seize an opportunity. Inciting an uprising the same day as a massive once-in-a-lifetime ion storm. Our assumption was that this storm was just an anomaly. Yes, a very convenient anomaly. Yeah. At least that was what we were told. Of course, I wasn't there. But who am I to say otherwise? You sound skeptical. Well, the official story is that it was the storm that enabled the revolt. How else do a bunch of unarmed, unorganized miners seize control of an entire moon, much less thousands of mines? I've talked to people who were there.
They tell a different story. They say they're lucky to have escaped with their lives. That it was more than just the storm. That somehow the miners were able to harness the energy from the storm. I know it sounds crazy. I'm not even sure I believe it myself. But that's what they said. Hmm. You said the Hotari were primitive. Well, they are. Except for the part about weaponizing ion storms. If you'll excuse me, Commander Ryder. Commander, if I could have a quick word with you. Of course. I'm encouraged to see the Federation supporting my people. I'm afraid of what might happen without your help. If anyone deserves thanks, it's Ambassador Spock. No one is more invested in negotiating a peaceful settlement to this conflict than he is. I'm so glad. We need his help before the situation escalates further than it already has. It's been... very trying. I saw you speaking with the Illidian. I'm sure they're painting themselves as the victims. The Illidians are under the impression the Hotari are somehow the cause of the Ion Storm. Which I'm sure they attribute to our lack of experience or sheer inferiority. But we are as much the victims of this horrific storm as they are. Mm. For the first time in our history, the Hotari have the upper hand. We see ourselves as strong instead of downtrodden. Voices have risen up. Old voices shouted down. Galvin and Sidron have become national heroes. Now they have the Queen's ear. Better or worse, depending on your perspective. I take it they're against a negotiated peace with the Illidians. Heroes tend to want more of what made them heroic. If it were up to them, they'd wage all-out war and bring ruin upon us all. My fear has been that the Illidians will launch an attack and crush us. You've seen their starship, no doubt. They could have retaken the mines whenever they wanted to, but it never happened. Hey, Uskalla. And as strange as this may sound, Yo. I'd almost say they're afraid. I just don't know what they're afraid of. It's still the same bluster and bravado you would expect from them. Do you think it has something to do with the Ion Storm? Right now, it's stronger than ever, isn't it? It's entirely possible. I'm not a scientist, but I do know the storm has knocked out all kinds of systems. So maybe the Illidians weren't willing to risk their ships given all the interference. Since the day of the revolt, Galvin has seized control of the mines and restricted all access. No one's allowed without his personal authorization. And hmm. they've taken over a section of the palace with like just as much secrecy stuff. and security. I'm told it could be something they brought back from the mines. I've made inquiries, but everyone pretends it doesn't exist. I strongly suspect they're hiding something. What do you think it is? I've heard rumors it's some sort of ancient artifact, but I haven't seen it myself. How can we know? I'd better see what's happening. You walk, see ya. Do you think you can find out what they're hiding? I need to see proof of something before I can make my case to the Federation. I can try, but even if I found it, I might not know what to make of it. Take this. You can use it to capture whatever you find, and then send it to me. Thank you. I will let you know what I find. And okay. I look forward to well, that was a disaster. What happened? The Hotari refused to concede anything, so the Illidians stormed out. The Hotari did not invite us here as peacekeepers. I hope your efforts were more fruitful than ours.
Gravitational harmonics failing to resolve. Warp bubble stability degrading. Increase output to maximum. Increasing warp output to maximum. It's happening again. Yeah. It is evident that presently the Resolute cannot achieve warp propulsion. Since our diagnostics rule out any problems with our warp systems or anything about the ship, the problem appears to be the fabric of space itself. Space itself? You're saying something about this region of space prevents warp travel? Prevents it, or can't sustain it. However improbable, that appears to be the case. We need to know more. Otherwise, it'll be an extended stay in the Hotari system. The storm didn't stop us from leaving space dock and traveling here. But could it still be causing this interference with warp travel? We must follow sound investigatory principles. Do not let an assumed conclusion drive your analysis. Sometimes we need a little inspired thinking, Mr. Chovak. Captain Solano is on his way back from the negotiations, and I want to have some answers for him when he gets here. Indeed. Given the facts at hand, we may be able to deploy subspace probes around the ship to construct a clear picture of the phenomenon. Around the ship. I'll prep a shuttle. 